What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the second road. We did a lot of things. Hell, we even went through the two sections of the Wayward Cave. Yeah, we did a lot. And uh, while we were at it, yeah, we got ourselves two new Pokemon, Toothless and Togepi. And now, it is finally time for us to move on right here. We're going to be battling. We're going to be doing some stuff. And, uh, well, let's see, what else? Oh, yes, Rosemont, it has been a while. I missed you. You sexy Pokemon, you. Let's go right ahead and start battling. So, anywho, in our last episode, what, what else did we do? Oh, yeah, we got ourselves some pretty good moves, too. You know, we got ourselves the... We got ourselves the, the Earthquake technique, and, well, as you guys probably already noticed, yeah, I'm getting my I'm getting Dominator right now, so... Let's go with a Dragon Rage onto Chimchar and switch out Rosemont because this is going to be bad. Alright, let's go ahead and switch out. And Quick Attack and Flame Wheel does not do anything. So let's go with a Dragon Rage onto this guy and Bubbly Beam onto that guy. Now, if you guys are wondering where the Experience Share is at, well, that, that, that stuff is going to Togepi right now because, well, we kind of need it to evolve into its next form. And, well, let's go ahead and grab this. Here we have a Potion and... Well, let's go right ahead and continue on our little adventure right here with Rosemon. And let's go ahead and just keep on defeating everybody we see right here. So here we go, Magical Leaves. And Togepi grows to level 9 or 16. So here we go. It's the nose pass looking pretty mean. And just like that, we win again. Okay, so funny thing is, when you're about to hit Mount Coordinate, Dawn spots you and she's going to be like, Hi, Draven. How is your Pokedex coming along? Me? I'm somewhere between fantastic and, uh, hopeless. But this isn't about me. I've got something nice for you. Draven, choose which hand you want. Uh, let's go with the left hand. I see. You want the VS Seeker. I'm impressed, Draven. You know what's important. And here it is, guys. We get ourselves the VS Seeker. I, I still don't know why they would do away with the VS Seeker. It was probably one of the most helpful things ever. So as you guys can see, the U using the VS Seeker, you can find trainers who want to rematch with you. Oh, Draven, do you also have a Pokédex? Yep, you do. You can also have this, then. You deserve it for all your hard work. And here we get ourselves a dowsing machine, which, you know, obviously sees any kind of, like, you know, hidden stuff and whatnot. Yeah, that kind of stuff. So, yes, we got ourselves a VS Seeker again. I don't know why they did away with that. I like to me, it's kind of like that's one of the one of the big things that Nintendo did wrong, or the creators of Pokemon did wrong, and that was just do away with something that important. Now here we are in Mount Coronet, and uh, well, we need to put on a repel because there are Pokemon right here, and uh, I want to say there are like what four or five sections to this place, and well, here we got this guy. According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world. A world where only time flowed and space expanded. There should have been no strife. But what be what became of that world? Because of the human spirit is weak or because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find this state of affairs to be deplorable. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, he, 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 he's, he's evil. He's very, very evil. And unfortunately, we did away with Bidoof because, well, you know, we needed space for a Pokemon. As you guys can see, that is a shortcut right there. But there it is, guys. We are in Route 208, and we are ready to battle anybody and anything. So that's probably what we're going to be doing right here, just battling and, uh, you know, talking stuff about our other stuff, and, well, there you go, Route tw or, uh, what was it called, uh, Level 21. Now, let's get Toothless up to par right here. Now, I would teach Toothless Earthquake, but that would be a waste of a good TM right there. So, we're gonna wait on that, and, well, let's go with, a uh, Dragon Rage. That right there. Dragon Rage again, and Togepi grows to level 17. Hopefully in no time we're going to get this Pokemon to evolve. Now, here we get ourselves another Great Ball. And as you guys can see, there are some stone panels right there. We can't exactly go up just yet because, well, yeah, we don't have Rock Climb. And that is 
a new TM or a new HM that has been introduced here into the Sinnoh region. And well, let's go right ahead and use a super potion on this guy. And let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. Hmm. <laughs> You're just a kid. How are you supposed to be a big man like me? Uh, easily. Let's go right ahead and just beat you. So here he comes out with a nose pass. And this Pokemon, even though it's tanky, we take it down with two Dragon Rages. It's pretty cool. Okay, now we do need Rock Smash for this. Crap Baskets on a Crapsicle Stick. Yeah, I am not going to waste that on anybody right now. So let's see. We'll be right. We'll be back for that 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 item right there. And well, here we found ourselves a tiny mushroom. I do believe that the tiny mushroom can be used for you know uh, what was it uh, teaching a Pokemon with somebody who collects them. And well, this guy is going to be giving us the odd keystone, which will enable us to go to Route 209. And there is a very important Pokemon that you can actually revive with that stuff. So let's go right ahead and start battling some more trainers right here. And here we have a Mime Junior. A good thing it's not a uh, good thing. Good thing it's not a uh, baby Pokemon. But this guy is introducing baby Pokemon that you know made their entrance way here in uh, Generation Four. And just like that, we get to level 20. Let's go ahead and battle her. Yes, we want to battle. And of course, she wants to talk about her contest. And well, let's go with the takedown and another takedown. Oh wow! Getting our butts kicked, holy crud, okay, so never mind. Yeah, we, 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 we definitely need to do some stuff with the good old, uh, the good old buddy here. So let's go ahead and use a revive onto Toothless. Not the best start to this Pokemon, and obviously we're getting paralyzed now, so here we go. That does it, and Togepri goes to level 18. Here comes a Combi, and just like that, we win again. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab these Nana Berries. And grab these little suckers, the blood berries, and uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, these raspberries right here. I get the pun right there. And well, let's go with the peanut berries, and let's go right ahead and see what this house is all about. Now, if you talk to this guy, he's gonna be like, everyone seems to call me the berry master. I hand out berries daily because I want people to learn how wonderful they are. You're deserving of one. And here we get ourselves a person berry, and well, let's see, a little book. About the berries, or the berry, the 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 berries guide to whatever get making berries, and this lady's talking about some mulch, and I accidentally bought some mulch. Now mulch actually promotes the growth of different kinds of berries and all that stuff. And are you forgetful type, or the forgetful type who forgets berries are planted? Yes, thought so. In the same way, I feel some sort of kinship with you, so you can have this app. And well, we're gonna be getting a berry searcher, which will actually indicate where certain berries are gonna be located and all. So let's get the heck out of here. And uh, well, again, I feel a disturbance in the forest, so let's go right ahead and use uh, let's use this. Let's use, nope, let's use that for this guy. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and, uh, let's see, talk to this lady. If you say Heart Home City, I only say this Pokemon contest. I'm going to enter my darling Pokemon in them. Huh. Heart Home is a great place. Every year it gets voted the most desirable place to live in Sinnoh. True. Okay, so, here we are, guys, in Heart Home City, and, uh, well... There we get a Baneri, and oh, thank goodness you happen to be there. If you weren't, you, uh, if you, if it weren't you, who knows far, how far away my Baneri would have gone. Baby Baneri, back into the Pokeball you go. Hmm. And she's, her name is Kira, she is a Pokemon judge, and she's telling us be sure to drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. Hmm. Okay. That, that sounds like a fantastic idea. Now, her home is a, it is home to, let's see, it is home to Fantina, and the funny thing is that we won't be able to battle her just yet, I think, and well, I'm visiting here all the way from the Hoenn region, and I've been hoping to find a contest hall, being new, I lost my way, fortunately, the local people here very kindly led me to the destination, I was impressed by their kindness and generosity to compete as stranger, now I may offer you to, uh, the courtesy of showing you the contest hall, sure, let's go right ahead. So, he's going to be taking me to the contest hall. He's going to the contest hall right here. And right 
in front of the contest hall, you'll actually find yourself an individual, a certain uh, someone right there. So this is the contest hall. Please go inside. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing. So as many of you guys can tell, the contest hall holds all the contests. And Kira right here is like, oh, my hero. And would you look at that? Our mama is right here. And she's like, oh, hi, Draven. Wait, no, really? Joanna's your mama? So you might be a contest star. Oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to Draven about my contest. I'm surprised that you two know each other, though. Oh, yes, that's right. I need to thank you for earlier. Please take this accessory, and we get ourselves a glitter powder. And, well, let's see. Draven has put it away, and, well, put the accessories on your Pokemon on the contest. It will lend uh, a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a contest judge, so please join us for a different kind of fun. If you're unsure of yourself, we also offer practice sessions. Okay, Joanna, I'll see you soon. Now, her name is Mom, not Joanna. That's kind of scary but that you're calling her by her first name. You do realize she's going to whoop me if I say Joanna. I'm just saying. Were you surprised to see me, Draven? I got bored, so I came out to uh, home on a little vacation. I'm just surprised to see you here, dear. But are you serious about entering contests? Not dressed that way. When your Pokemon are all dressed up, you can't be dressed in your usual way. Put this in your little glamour. And, well, we got ourselves a tuxedo, so that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm sure it will uh, look good on you. After all, I chose it. Go enjoy the contest, honey. Contest will give you a different look at the many charms of Pokemon. It will, uh, it, it should be an eye-opening experience for you. Bye now. Okay. And if you guys can tell, there is a special individual right here. And she's going to be twirling around. She's like, yes, I beg your pardon. Oh, we contests are uh, contests you are here for. I hope very much you enjoy them. Incidentally, Fantina, the gym leader of Heart Home, is also a contestant. She is uh, how do you say, très fantastique? Fantina, being myself, of course. Hmm. Let me see. You also seem to be très strong. And if in, so it shall be. I will wait for you in the gym. Oh, crap. Okay, so it looks like to me that we, 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 we have to battle her. Oh, crap, baskets. Okay, so that is that. We've completed that. And, well, you're going to enter the contest, but I don't see no pomp in case. It would be tough for you to win contest without it, but if you're determined to enter, don't let me stop you. It wouldn't hurt you to get some practice at the counter on the right. Yeah, we're not doing any of that stuff right now. Um, hmm. So... Here we are in Heart Home, and don't worry guys, yes, we are going to be battling the gym leader. It's going to be tough, it's going to be scary tough. And the babies get along perfectly together, the babies take naps, and then Pokemon go to sleep right next to him. Now, I'm trying to find an individual here where they will actually give us some kind of uh, items. And, well, if you talk to this lady, and, well, they are just complimenting me. And I'm trying to talk to these people, and yes, she wants to be a trainer, so let's see what this guy has. And my sister make too much noises. Wow, he is the only guy in this whole thing right here. Holy crud. Okay, so we're going to be going upstairs. And would you look at this? A room fit for a king. Heart Home is a kindly, a kid-friendly city, they say. I, but I disagree. Heart Home is friendly to kids, grown-ups, and Pokemon, too. Hmm. And, well, talking about grandsons. And what about this? Okay, so they're all talking about, like, kind stuff. And, yeah, you're definitely not going to be finding anything right here. So let's get the heck out of here. And move on to the next order of business right here. And that is that if you go, let's see, if you go right here, you'll talk to this individual. It's like, hi, you're a trainer. That means you're using Pokemon Buxes. I love meeting in, in users. Oh, and what's up? Why is why that astonished look? Oh, right, that's right. All oh, right, sorry. And there I go running my mouth again. My name is Beeb. You, you know the Pokemon or the PC Buxes. I'm a system administrator. I know that I know this is out of the blue, but would you want to want a Pokemon named Eevee? Sure. Here you go. But we can't do anything right now because we got our boxes. Yeah, we got our, our Pokemon team filled. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, and well, she wants us to get. She wants us to have this Eevee, and of course, she got this Eevee from a friend down in Johto. I wonder who that might be. So. We're not going to give a nickname to the CV just yet because, well, in this game, it is now possible to actually breed this Pokemon. And as you guys can see, Eevee at level 20, normal type Pokemon. And it does have the ability to run away. And, uh, well, 
Eevee can now evolve into two more Pokemon here in Pokemon uh, in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. We just passed by one area where you can actually where you're actually able to evolve it right away with just a level up. So now, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to train up my Pokemon just a tad bit because yes, we do need to battle these train uh, this gym leader. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so before we go in for a gym battle. Let's go ahead and take a look at these other places here, guys. I know that you guys have been dying to see this. Now, here we are in the Amity Square. This is uh, probably a place where you can actually take one Pokemon with you. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and see. In the Amity Square, you may go with and stroll with a cute Pokemon. Okay, would you like to give, a, give it a stroll with your Poseidon? And just like that, we are ready to go. And as you guys can see, there are going to be some items around here. And here we found ourselves the TM43, which is Secret Power, a very good move, and it all depends on the terrain that you are in. Now, let's see, I think that you can actually find another item right here. It's just uh, worth looking. Here are some, uh, well, here is a... Uh here is this little doohickey right here, and it will teleport you towards another place, and it will teleport you right here, and you will be getting yourself the TM45 Attract, which is another great move to kind of mess with other the other sex, the opposite sex of uh, Pokemon. Now, let's see. There is an item right there that we kind of want to get, and I'm trying to figure out how do we do it. Now, this place right here does... Heighten up the the happiness of your Pokemon just because you're walking with them. So let's see. We went straight. What if we go right here? And this one will take us. What about that like this? Okay, so that doesn't take us nowhere. And it looks like to me. Okay, so I kind of feel as though they let's see, hold on. What if we go towards the left side? Nope right side and wow it really doesn't do anything okay so hmm I'm trying to figure this I'm trying to figure this whole thing out but it looks like to me we have to go towards another area right here huh okay so there is another section of the Amity Square so I'll be right back with you guys okay so here we are in the east gate of the Amity Square and this one will actually take us towards this place right here and you'll be finding quite a uh, quite a few more items right here so let's go ahead and see what this is all and here we get ourselves an amulet coin which will double up our our winnings after every battle and where would this take us okay so that doesn't take us nowhere and where are we? Oh wow, we are. Wow, wow! I don't even know where we're at. Holy crud! Okay, so this takes us right here, and I'm like trying to find something. But let's see what this guy has. And well, he's sniffing on grass. Okay, there is no grass around here. Okay, so if you talk to this guy, hello, how do you do? I love this park. It is why I try to keep it nice and tidy. I don't mind cleaning it at all. I find all sorts of items doing so. It's quite fun, even exciting. Oh, I know. Do you know of an, an item, uh, an item, the palm tree berry? I found some. Would you like them? And here we get ourselves palm tree berries. And uh, well, it looks like to me that every single day he will get you something. Now, let's see. There is still one area that we need to get, and that's right here. Now I'm just trying to figure it out. Let's go left side right here. And this one will take us to this lady right here. Holy crud. I'm here with my happy any every single day. I can let it run free without worries at all. Okay, so... Yeah, it happens to be drowsy. Okay, so let's go right here towards right. Now, this all depends on the sides that you take inside these little sections right here, guys. And what I'm doing is I'm going right every single time here. And... Whoa, I've never been on this section right here before. Hmm. That's odd. Now let's let's go right, right, right every single time. And this one will take us right here. And we get ourselves a spooky plate, which will be another one of the plates that, you know, we can find here in the Sinnoh region. And I do believe that's pretty much it with the whole plate section right here. So... Yeah. Okay, so there is one more section that we want to need to cover before we go into the next gym battle. And that is we have to go 
near the fan club. There is a Pokemon fan club right here, and it is right behind this individual. And if you talk to this guy, the fan club president, he's gonna be like, hello, hello, how do I, uh, how I say do you do? I am the Pokemon fan club uh, chairman. Indeed, yes, I am. When you wish to treat your Pokemon to true a treat, what do I say do you do? If I may say so, I will. I'll feed Poffins to my Pokemon. And why I say would I do that? Because the giving Poffins is a way of expressing your love. For example, if I were to give a sweet Poffin, a Pokemon eating it would become more cute. For example, a spicy Poffin will add the coolness of a Pokemon. In such ways, I say Poffins have nothing but goodness for Pokemon. Therefore, I declare this Poffin case to be a gift for me to you. And well, there it is. We get ourselves a Poffin case. Ain't that great. Let's see. What is she? Lexi Pokemon Fan Club. Okay. Let's see. She's trying to look at our happiness with our Pokemon. Let's go with Rosemon right here because it did evolve through happiness. And simply adores you and she doesn't give us anything. Okay. Never mind. Now there is another thing that we need to do. A rare item of some sorts. So if you go right here. And uh, talk to this little girl right here. Let's see. People all over the world uh, go to Pokemon contests. What do I do? I should captivate the whole world. Okay, not this person, but if you talk to, let's see, uh, nice and clean. If you talk to this little girl, I think, uh, Shroomish finds berries and things in the Amity Square. Okay, so there is an individual here that will give you a special item. We just need to find them. And speed it up. There we go. And, well, where, oh, where could this person be? I have something for your Pokemon to hold. Take this Shell Bell. And there it is, guys. We get ourselves a Shell Bell, which will heal our Pokemon just in case we get into any battles. This is actually going to be very useful when we go into this next battle right here. So, what we what are we doing now? Oh, yes. We need to train our Pokemon just a little bit. So, what is going to happen? What is this? Uh, the Poffin House. Yes, that is the Poffin House. And there is one more spot that we need to check out, and that is this. This is the church. Okay, we're not supposed to be speaking loudly, but you know what I mean, right? I know that I did this back in Pokemon Platinum, the original version, but we need to, you know, have a little decorum in a church because this is a church, as you guys can see. It's Mount Coronet, and I've talked to this girl, she's like, mind and matter. It's no good if one is stronger than the other. Balance is what's needed, that's the key. Hmm. So anywho, we're gonna be stepping outside, because, you know, we need to train, and uh, I don't know why I did that. So, what we're gonna do now, guys, off screen, is we're gonna train our Pokemon just a little bit, because this next gym battle is going to be one for the ages. Now, we do have one Pokemon at level 27, but for what I am looking at, yes, Fantina does have three Pokemon. Each one of them are fast, and they are above level 24. So, yeah, we gotta we gotta be ready for this one. So I'll be right back with you guys. <laughs> Didn't even realize this, guys. But as I was driving, or as I was uh, walking by, I happened to run into a Ralts right here. And as many of you guys already know, Ralts happens to be one of my favorite Pokemon going into, you know, pretty much in the Sinnoh region. Now, there is a bit of a catch when you're catching a Ralts. If you capture a male Ralts, there is a brand new evolution to it, and that is, it will evolve into Gallade if you expose it into, I guess, a Dawnstone. Now, if you have it as a female, well, it doesn't really matter if it's male or female, evolve it at level 30, bam, it evolves into Guard Devour. But if you have a male Ralts, and expose it to a Dawnstone. Bam, you're gonna get yourself a Glade. And that is exactly what we're gonna be doing right here during our little training. And that is, we're gonna be capturing this little sucker because, well, we need a new team member. And uh, yeah, this team needs a little bit of a stacking. So here it is, a great ball. And just like that, throwing out the peace sign. That's right, boys. That is right, I am doing everything. Okay. So let's go right ahead and take a look at this Ralts right here. Look at that, Ralts, the feeling Pokemon. If its horns capture the warm feelings of people or Pokemon, its body warms up slightly. So 
here it is guys we're gonna be rewriting one wrong one big wrong that many of you guys have already uh, have been getting on my case on by just watching my regular walkthrough of Pokemon Platinum and that is we're gonna be using this Pokemon as more of a physical typing so yes say hello to Gaia number two that's right and we're naming it num number two because this is gonna be the guy that's gonna be kicking some butt now we do have two rare candies I think you guys know where I'm going with this, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so here we are back into the Pokemon Center, and like I stated earlier, yes, oh my god. So I went to go battle some of the trainers over in, uh, what was it, the entrance near Mount Coronet, because there's quite a few of them there, thanks to the VS Seeker. Got our Pokemon nice and trained up, as you guys can probably see, yes, look at these guys. They're nice and trained up and ready to go. There is one thing, the odd man happens to be Starblade, because we already know that Togepi is going to be a flying type Pokemon, so we might as well just keep it right there just in case. Now, we do have two rare candies. You know what? Screw it. So let's go ahead and give them to Gaia number two and get a, an evolution going while we're at it right here. So here we go. Gaia number two, how's it going? You are now about to evolve. So the big thing about this this whole this whole thing is that we want to evolve Gaia number two into Gallade since it's a male version of uh, you know what was it Ralt and uh, Curlia right here. If we were having a you know a female Curlia, then you know you guys already know that we were gonna be going with a Guard Devourer. So there we go. We got ourselves a Guard Devourer or no no a uh, Curlia right here. And as you guys can see, this Pokemon is a careful nature. And it has the ability Trace, which copies the abilities of uh, any Pokemon. Right now, it is a special attacker, but if you evolve it into a Glade, it will become more of a physical attacker and gain the ability uh, or the, the fighting type ability. As you guys can see, it does have Confusion, Double Team, Teleport, and Lucky Chant. So... Let's see, we need TMs because, well, we, 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 we are, we are definitely gonna, we definitely got some moves right here. Let's see, Brick Break, I could, let's see, Poseidon can learn it, but it is a, it is a big no-no right there. An Earthquake, there is only one Pokemon that can learn it, but I am not going to teach it to Toothless right now because that would be a waste of a very good move since it, it can already learn. Grass Knot is a diff is a definite good move right here because it all depends on the Pokemon's w uh, well weight. So it's going to happen right here right now is that we're not going to be using any kind of TMs. We're just going to be going in and battling. So let me get back to you guys. I'm getting another text. I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys. So it is time for us to go straight to the Pokemon Gym, and well, we are stocked up and ready to go. Fantina. In Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, you're going to have to wait for that one to happen after you defeat two more trainers. But right here, you are going to be enabled to battle her right away. She, he's going to be like, hey there, how's it going, champ to be? This gym is kind of uh, wicked. What, What's wicked about it? I'll tell you. First, it's pitch black. Oh, no worries, though. I have a flashlight right here for you. Also, there are usual gym trainers. They have flashlight, too. If you cast the light on one of them or they catch the light, light on you, they will battle you. So, let's see. Okay, so now this is really important. It's all about the tiles on the floor. First, find one. Of the, first, find the blue one or the blue tile on the room and memorize the mark on it. The next one, the red one. And then the following one, you'll reach the... Yes, you are going to be going straight to the gym leader right here. So, of course, I'm not going to be reading any of that stuff. So, let's go right ahead and taking take care of business now as many of you guys already know i am well i am going to be battling everybody getting some experience for all our pokemon right here so let's see what's up boo did i scare you this battle will Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and speed this through every single one of these trainers have have a uh, ghost type pokemon and as many of you guys already know ghost type pokemon like to mess with your stats and all that stuff as you guys can see, you will be finding a circle, right? Yeah, there is a circle. I can't really see it because I don't think the game, I don't think the get the game gets it or anything like that. But this person right here is in my way, so let's go right ahead and talk to this person and keep on battling right here. So here he comes out with a ghastly. 
And I didn't know that flying type, uh, flying type attacks can actually work. And Togepi grows to level 24 and is learning follow me. Let's see. This this move right here is mainly for double battles because it's like the user draws his attention to itself, making all foes take aim only at, at the user. So, yeah, we're really not going to use that move right here because we're not really doing any kind of devil, double move or double battles. So give up on that. And here comes a Drift Bloom. If you guys don't know, Drift Bloom is a flying type Pokemon too, so let's go right ahead and go with a spark attack, and just like that, we win. Throwing at that piece on, guys. Wow. Okay, so Togepi is evolving. I guess its happiness is right there. I am, uh... <laughs> okay. So, Togepi. We did some switch battling, we did some stuff, and uh, yeah, we finally managed to do the holy crud. So, here it is, guys, Togetic. Huh. Well, we must be lucky, and, well, uh, wow, seriously, follow me. Okay, uh, this Pokemon is not going to learn follow me, and, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at Togetic right here. So here we are in Togepi, the Togetic, and it is now no a normal and flying type Pokemon. I think you guys already know where I'm going with all of this. It does have some pretty good defenses. It is a special defensive Pokemon and, uh, well, a special attacker. So we're gonna need special attacks. Now we're gonna take this item away and we need to give it to Gaia number two because this Pokemon is going to be needed going into, yeah, going into this battle right here. And I believe Pluck, if I remember correctly, Pluck, it could be good for all of us right here. So let's see, Pluck is a what? A flying type move? Let's see. Like, hold on just a sec. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Hold on just, just a sec. Okay. So, you, the user pecks the foe. If the foe is holding a barrier, the... Okay. So, never mind. Let's go ahead and use this move right here because... Yeah. Oh, wow. Togetic? Seriously? Okay. So, we're going to need Poseidon for this one. So, let's go right ahead and give it Pluck in place of Peck. And... Well, let's see. Is there any kind of move that it, it, can, it can use? Let's see, secret power. And you know what, we're gonna give this to Togetic because, well, it doesn't really have any kind of good attacks right here, except for... You know what, I would rather have sleep than confusion, so there we go, secret power on that guy. And Rock Tomb... Rock Tomb should go to Toothless, but it is what it is. Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and switch it out. Now, there is a reason why I left Toothless at level 23, it, and that is because it is close to evolving. Now, if I remember correctly, the blue tile happened to be a circle, so let's go right ahead, come in here, and let's see. We're looking at three people, so let's go right ahead and just battle them. Kind of want to do it, so here we go, battling them, and here comes a Drift Loom, so let's go right ahead and go with... Wow, seriously? It just did that, so... Let's go right ahead and go with Electro Star, and its minimized attack is going to change the game right here. So here we go, Spark Attack does the trick, and let's continue on right here with Drip Limb. Now, Drip Limb does have an aftermath effect, which if you make it faint, it takes quite a few, or it takes a chunk out of your HP, so just be aware of that. And, well, let's go right ahead and go back up here. Super potions, obviously, because we bought some more. Pokemon are progressing, and well, let's go right ahead. Let's go ahead and keep on battling all these trainers. I want to battle them all because, well, obviously, the experience points are gonna we're gonna be beneficial. So here we have a Haunter, and Haunter is kind of a scary Pokemon to battle because, yes, it is fast. And look at that, we get some experience points. And here comes a Mischievous. So let's go right ahead. And switch it out to Poseidon right here. And go with the Pluck attack. Bubbly Beam. And again, we're going to get confused. And bam, we beat him. Just like that. Okay, so who's next? And I see a blue tile right there. So let's go right ahead and heal up our, our Toothless right here. And let's see what kind of shape this is. Um... It looks like a circle, so let's go right ahead and just battle this guy. And here we have Toothless yet again. There we go. And just like that, we win again. Alrighty. So, let's see. It's a circle, and let's go ahead and battle this last person right here. 
Actually, there's two more. Three. Yeah, you know what? We're just going to be battling everybody and see where this takes us right here. And there we go. And just like that, we take, an, we take out another Pokemon. And Gaia grows to level 21. Let's go with Rosemon right here. Ghastly coming in. Let's go with the Grass Whistle. It is now asleep. And go with the Magical Leaf. There we go. And just like that, we win. Here comes a Haunter. Let's go with Gaia 2. And it does have confusion. Cramp baskets! Okay. You forgot about that. And here we go. Wow. This Pokemon is not giving us anything, so let's go right ahead and go with Toothless. And here comes a mean look. Damn! Okay, so Shadow Ball is going to be the, the move that's going to be messing me. And there we go. And just like that, we defeat this guy. Holy buckets. Ugh, God, you got to love this. What does the old Jetau do? Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm actually going to go outside and heal up my Pokemon real quick. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back, guys. And, well, we're trying to locate the door that will lead us to here. And I think it's this one. And crap baskets. Okay, so we're back here. And, uh, well, if you visit this place every single time, it will switch up the coating or the, the tile. So you just got to be aware of that, guys. If you take a step outside, it's, yeah, it's just going to be bad. So let's go right ahead and locate that last tile right here. If we can find it, it's right up here somewhere now. Let's see. Yeah, it kind of looks like a sun right there. So we're going to go right here. And there she is. Fantina, our good old friend, and uh, well, there is one thing that we need to do, okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch it out to Electro, uh, Electro Star right here, because Fantina does have a Duskull, or it does have, well, let's just put it this way, Electro Star does have a Bite Attack, so this will actually work, so let's go ahead and take on her, Ooh, finally you have arrived, since I came to this country, always I try to learn new things, they hold contests in the city. I say myself, and if and I will excel. That is why I dress the way this way. She un performance. Also, I study Pokemon very much. I have uh, I have come to be a gym leader. And uh, so it shall be with you to challenge me, but I shall win. That is what a gym leader does, non? So there it is, guys. We're gonna be taking on gym leader Fantina. And. She's only got three Pokemon, but these three Pokemon are the most feistiest that, that you'll be able to battle. So here we go, taking on a Duskull, level 24. And, well, let's go right ahead and go with the Bite Attack right here. As you guys can see, it is super effective, nearly defeating Duskull. And here comes a Future Side Attack. Now, we got to be careful with this one because later on, somebody's going to get hit with this attack. So there it is, Duskull defeated. And we get some points right there. And, well, here comes Haunter, the fastest of her Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and weaken this guy's defense. And we're taking a, a future side attack. And thankfully, our move is a physical attack. So this will actually do something. And Crap Baskets on a Crapsicle Stick. Yes, Haunter has beaten us. So let's go right ahead and let's go with Poseidon right here. All right, Poseidon. There we go. Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam. Confuse Ray, Bubble Beam, and just like that, we have defeated this Pokemon right here. Now, here comes Miss Magius. This Pokemon is rather unique, so we're going to be going with Rosemon right here because, well, Miss Magius at level 26 is the f fully evolved version of, uh, what was his name, uh, what was his name, uh, oh yeah, Mischievous and all that stuff. So here it is, Miss Magius. Freaking uh, paralyzed right there, and here comes a Shadow Ball that messes us up right here. So, hmm. Let's go with Poseidon, and go with the Bubble Beam, and Magical Leaf. I did not see that coming, so let's go with a Bubble Beam, and that messes us up right there. So let's go straight for our good old buddy Toothless, and just like that, we win. Oh my god, I thought we were going to lose it. Look at that. Toothless grows to level 24. How does it feel to fail, Fantina? You're fantastically strong. Yes, I am. I am very strong and, well, just like that, Toothless is evolving. That is a good prize right there, guys. So in, in one fell swoop of an episode, a long episode, 
We've managed to get three new Pokemon and evolve three of them. Holy crud, so here it is, guys, our newest Pokemon, Gabite. And are you learning a new move? No, he's not. And, well, I am dumbfounded. So very, very strong. You, your Pokemon, so strong. Your power is admirable. I shall honor it with this gym badge. And there it is, guys. We get ourselves the Relic Badge. So the Relic Badge right here will let you use the hidden move Defunk outside of battle. Also, you can take this technical machine. That is what I think it is. And there it is. We get ourselves the TM-65, guys. TM-65 contains Shadow Claw, a very startling move it is. It hits a uh, turn critical often. Hmm. Three big gym badges. But you must not forget this. There are many other trainers. Strong trainers, too. There are many more in Sinnoh. Have patience. You must you must become stronger at one time at one at a time. Hmm. Very, very, very uh well, some very good uh, words of advice right there. And so, there it is, guys. We have won our third badge in ten episodes. Holy crud. Yeah, I am really making the strides to get this whole thing done right here. Anywho, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at his newest badge right here. Mm-hmm. Let's go right here. And hit this. Look at that. Okay, so as you guys can see, it is shiny. So we're going to shine this little sucker up. And of course, we only got two sparkles on our other two badges. So we got to make sure that everybody is shining fine and dandy and all that stuff. So let's go. Come on. Shine, shine, shine. Come on. You got to better shine. You better shine. Come on. Give me more sparkles. Come on. Don't be berry. Don't be hop. Don't be annoying. Come on. Yes, we're shining it up, and well, let's go ahead and shine these little suckers up, and well, it didn't take that much to shine that one up, and well, let's see, come on, look at that, okay, so all three of our badges have been shined up and ready to go, I am very happy about this, now let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon, Gabite right here, so here it is guys, Gabite, the dragon and ground type Pokemon, and well, as you guys can see, it's not a very special defensive Pokemon, but there's a big butt on this whole thing right here. It does have a very good physical attack. And, uh, you know, Gaia number two, I do believe we can actually find its evolutionary stone pretty early. I think I did it the last time. So it's going to be, well, in time, in time we will find out. We will see if we can actually get that evolutionary stone. Other than that, guys, holy buckets, we did it. We did it. We got three badges in ten episodes, so, yeah, we're, we're, doing, we're putting some uh, good strides into this. In the next episode, I don't know where we're going to be going, but it's going to be a good one. Other than that, guys, thank you guys for being patient, for being uh, as loyal, for being, you know, as supportive as possible. Yes, if you guys want to support the channel with the merch store right there, because I got a merch store. Yes, Draven is moving up in the world. Go ahead, buy yourself something. If you got a suggestion for the merch store, let me know down below, and uh, we'll see what happens right there. Other than that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure here in the Sinnoh region. See you guys.